this is Peg with Craft Room Stories. Thank you for joining me today. And I've finally finished this little beauty right here. Now, some people name theirs and everything. I have not. I don't name mine, typically. Um, I don't think I'm that creative. But <laughs> anyway, um, this is the journal that I have made for my favorite author, Rosanna M. White, who is battling cancer right now. And I made this just to cheer her up. And also, she does like to write in journals. So I thought, well, maybe she would like one. I don't know how familiar she is with junk journals. So, um, of course, there's coffee. Feel free to join me if you're watching. It's always fun to drink coffee with someone rather than by yourself, although I don't care. I'll drink it anyway. Okay, so let's just start with the outside, okay? I have put... A little, um, I want to say grommet, but that's not typically what we call them, and I can't think of what they're called right now, but this little thing in here, and I just had this little clip, which I think came off of an old keychain or something, <clears throat> and I've made a little junk journal jewelry with this dangle, and I've put some special things like a cross, um, um, paisley, it's about to get vocal, let's not do it. Um, and I've made, I've put together some little beads to dangle as well. Then we've got a teapot and a little tea bag and spoon and a tea cup. Some more little jewelry jangle, jangles, dangles. Let's try again. Um, a tree of life, a little key and a gorgeous purple butterfly. Can you handle that purple butterfly? This is one of the things that I got at a um, little market that comes about in the fall um, here in Oklahoma, and they were 10 for a dollar. Do I hate myself for not getting more? Yes. Yes, I do. And I hope that they're back next fall where I can, like, stock up. Anyway, gorgeous. Love them. And we have, let's see what's... Let me see how well I'm showing up because I'm, okay, let's do it this way. Okay, so we have a beautiful little um, cameo. This is an actual clip, a uh, brooch, if you will, that can be removable. She can use it for something else, but it just adds to the beauty of all the purple things. A wonderful little hat, which who doesn't love a frilly hat? And then this is the fabric that I printed on my computer. And we've got just a little uh, reinforced spine with some lace and in the back. And I have just tied it with this lace because um, it's not, I don't know if this is lace or what kind of trim it is. But anyway, um, just because I think it's pretty and I like it. And then let's get to it. I'm going to put my phone on mute really quickly. Thought I had already done that, but. I am slow and sometimes forget. Okay, so we're going to take this off of here so that, as you can see, it's just one of those that she can use anywhere. And she likes to wear scarves, especially right now, um, around the house with her head getting cold and stuff. And then we just take that off of there. And then this is totally removable, obviously, if she wants to take that off because maybe she would want to use it for something else. Okay, so then here we go. And here's the beginning. We have this little pocket in here that is um, made from decoupage napkin onto sheet music. And this lovely little um, bookmark that I made. Okay, I may end up putting some lace across there to strengthen that little entrance. I think I may do that. Okay, so then we have these papers, and like I said, I don't remember where all these papers came from because I've had them for a while. I could do some research, but I've got a lot going on. I don't have time. And this is that lovely twall tissue paper that I got from Timu. And then here's a little um, paper clip that I made. Uh, I think I watched Tina from Shabby Dabby Duty. Shabby Dabby Duty. <laughs> Literally, it's like the first day with my new lips. Let me try again. Shabby, dabby, doo-dah. 
which to me is a hilarious name anyway. Okay, that, um, she was doing some of those on her channel. Something similar. It's not exact, but anyway. And then got a little journal card there that is just pretty. And then we turn the page and we've got a little double pocket. I know that this paper was from Artie Mays. And we've got a little, just a little picture of Jesus and the sheep and writing spot on the back of that, which I got that from my friend Crystal. And then we have a pretty little tag in here with a lace pocket and a journal card and another little pocket over here and a pretty little journal par card. Seriously, apparently it's not my day to um, speak. Now, my husband is making a lot of noise right now, so bear with. He's feeling like he needs to eat. I don't know why people think they need to eat. That's ridiculous. <laughs> and he's choosing to eat like the loudest possible things during my video. Thank you, honey. Gorgeous little um, doily. And then we have a little pocket here with one of Tina's um, little ladies, Edwardian ladies. And a pretty little tag. I got this tag stuff from um, Tracy Fox and I put a little dangle on there because fun and that just fits right in there and with a little dangle hanging out and then this also Tina was doing this can you tell who I watch a lot of I there's just some that you resonate with more than others I like to watch a lot of people but I probably have gotten the most ideas from her, but cute little, just taking a circle and adding some lace and a little blingy. And then we've got a belly band here with some more bling and a lovely tag, again with decoupage, which you can write on the back of that. And this little ruffle, oh my goodness, I love this decorative edge strip so much. And then we have a pretty little butterfly. I don't know. There's something about that pretty lace with those flowers. I just absolutely love that. And a little bow. Um, then I got this from my friend. Um, oh, I've gone blank. Oh, I had Stacy. That's her name. Who sent me a happy mail that I showed you guys previous. She made that. And I'm slipping that in there because it just matches perfectly. And a little cluster there. Have you guys seen this little cluster? Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh, love it. Okay, now I'm not going to take this whole thing apart, but I got this idea from, oh goodness sakes, why is it that I can't remember people's names when I'm trying to do it? I can see her face. She does videos. I can see, I can see her channel, but I can't think of it. I'll try to link it below, though, that she did this. And each of these, this is like two, I think, um, junk mail things. And then you can write on the inside when you flip each of these up. But then also inside, you've got little journal cards for each of these. And this is just some scrapbook paper that I have slipped in here. But anyway, um, that's fun. I will link her channel. It's bugging me that I can't think of it. Okay. And then we've got this little fun flip, okay? Oh, and then a little flippy butterfly, but of course it gets smashed down. Um, that flips up, that flips up, and that flips up. And lots of um, journaling spots. I tried to put a lot of journaling spots in this. And then just some vintage ephemera that's... A copy of it and then this is genuine vintage ephemera um, a genuine vintage book page rather okay decorative edge strip that's been decoupaged um, a little envelope I made and decorated up and then I just put a plain um, tag in there then also there is oh it's this way there's another pocket this way so I think that Rosanna is probably going to have to watch this video so she sees where all the pockets are. Pretty little dresses that um, 
I cut out. And this is something that I keep forgetting. I'm going to stick this to put in somewhere. We're just going to put that right in there. And it's just a little scripture card, which I love. Look at that decorative edge strip. Oh, my goodness. This is, you know, um, Amazon packaging and then some lace and then this with the buckle and this ribbon, velvet ribbon. Oh my goodness, I love, love when I see that. I just get excited, I can't help it. It's gorgeous. Okay, and then this, loving, loving, loving this. I think I briefly showed you guys this before I had decorated it. And it comes apart with some little gems like that. And then we've got a little pocket inside with a little journal card. And bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is in within, all that is within me, bless his holy name, Psalms 1031. It's also, um, a song. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Anyway, can't hardly see it without singing it. Got a little um, button down here. I'm pretty sure this is a vintage kind of shank button, but it's a flat shank. And then with this little um, thing that I also got from Stacy. She gave me a little one and a bigger one and I put that on there. And then we've got a cute little envelope that I made and it's just got some, a little tiny piece of sheet or a uh, hem that says anywhere, let's see, let me undo the whole thing. Any, a oh, good grief, what's wrong with me? Anywhere with Jesus, I can safely go. Anywhere, anywhere, fear I cannot know. So it does that and then flips up. I imagine that going through cancer is pretty scary. And knowing that you're not going through it alone, I think, can be helpful. And then we have another little pocket I made from a bag. I think this bag also came from Stacy. Stacy, I've been using a lot of your stuff. I don't know. And then I sing the mighty power of God that made the mountains rise. Love that hymn. <clears throat> Praising my Savior all the day long. This also came from Artie Mays, this paper. Gorgeous. And I just left it plain because she can do something with it if she wants to decorate it. Or she can leave it plain. Um, I was afraid I was getting too fat. It is still quite fat. But anyway. And then this is some vintage lace. That is so pretty. Oh, I can't. It's so pretty. And then this page. I could not mess with this page. Except I just put this little... Um, Snippet of a song, When Life Gives You More Than You Can Stand, Neil. Love that. And then this little, I don't know what that is, but and then this is a um, decoupaged pocket that I made. Um, and it just has a magnetic closure. I made it a long time ago, and it's not totally purple, but I think it kind of has purple vibes to it there. And then we've got the center, another little, just a blank card. And a little snippet up there of prettiness. And then I um, stenciled on this a little bit, that other side of that. And this is a little puzzle piece um, that was kind of a matching puzzle, I think, where I put another one of those tags in that are plain. And then this is a decorative edge strip that I actually made into a tuck spot and put this pretty little tag in there. Love this lace so much. I got that for Christmas from my niece, Les, Leslie. I like to call her Les. And then look at that little um, cluster. Oh, Lord of life. Love it. We need to be reminded. And I put some little kind of stickles on there. Fun. Another little cluster that matches the belly band over here. And I made this tag out of a master board. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Oh, we can all say that, can't we? Okay, this belly band makes me so happy. All the purple, and then this gorgeous um, wax seal up here. We're going to do a video of wax seals here shortly that I hope you will enjoy. That's what's coming up. Gorgeous butterfly. This is um, coffee dyed... Um, parchment paper and then this came from my porch prints and this tag just pretty let's see what did I put I just put a little rick rack across there a little vintage rick rack and a little cluster and then this is also a pocket here 
And then another little, this is some vintage dotted Swiss that I got from Carol at a crinkled path. She sent me a happy mail. And I was going to show it to you guys. I've still got it. That's a, another video coming up. Um, but this, I had to use some of it already because it's too much fun. And then this gorgeous little tag I made in the morning when I rise. Give me Jesus. Love that. And then I made another little envelope that has another little piece of music. And it's supposed to stay there. It's not probably going to. So I may just slip that in there. And then the other side of that. And then I put a little pocket on here with a sideways tag. And a couple of tiny little um, journal cards. And then there's room for journaling there and there. This is that um, CD case that I decorated with you guys. And inside I put a picture. Uh, it's a Tim Holtz picture, I think, that my friend Crystal sent me. And this is how you can use it, Crystal. You just slip it in there as a journal card. You don't even have to touch it. Put some vintage lace down here with some of the flower trims. And this is a genuine vintage ephemera postcard from, I don't know, but it is extremely old. Um, it looks like it is from the early 1900s based on the outfits, Edwardian looking outfits. Anyway, gorgeous. I just, oh, I hope you like old things, Rosanna. I think you do based on your books. Okay, then we have this song, There Shall Be Showers of Blessing. It's something to think about. And don't forget the Sabbath. Got to take a day of rest. It's important. Pretty little butterfly there. Decorative edge strip with a little gem. And we have a fabric flip. I do love to put a fabric flip because I love fabric and lace. And I just, it makes me happy. And then you flip it up and you've got this gorgeous little picture. Um, with this frame and then another decorative edge strip again using the Amazon packaging love it a journaling spot the other side of the doily then here we've got a little kind of window looking thing it flips up and you've got this picture underneath which is just a fun little interactive thing and then this is a little pocket got a little journaling card in here um, and then this opens up, and you've got a little hidden journaling spot, which I always just find stuff like that fun. I'm like a child. If it folds up and opens up, I just love it. Okay, let's fit that in there some kind of way. Why is that not going back in? Okay, there we go. All right, and then just a, a journaling page with glue threads. It is well with my soul. Love that song. The other side of that page. A little more stenciling, but a lighter color there. And then we've got a little pocket I made from some scrapbook paper with a little cluster, a butterfly. And I put that as, instead of a divot to show it's a pocket, I just put that that she can raise up in a little flippy notebook. It's got some pockets in it. And then this, <laughs> look at this. Absolutely, to me, this is so gorgeous. Um, belly band. It's so sparkly. I love a little bling, y'all. Love it. With a writing board. Some um, One of my subscribers recommended a writing board, and I was already on it because I know with these pages you need a writing board. But got some fabric and lace on one side, and then just did a little snippet of lace, just a teensy, and then this gorgeous paper. This was a freebie. From somebody I cannot think of the name of the person right now, but you know who you are if you see this video. And if I can remember, the freebies that are like one page freebies, I often do not remember where they came from. Sometimes I do. And that one I think it's one person, but I don't want to say because then I could be wrong and mislead you. Anyway, that is that gorgeous journal. Love it. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'm going to make some shorter videos, but I'm going to put them up and I hope that you will enjoy them. We've got um, the next one I want to show um, the stuff that Carol sent me from A Crinkled Path. Um, just to cheer my day. How sweet is that? I, I don't understand you people that are just so kind and sweet, but I I couldn't go through life without you. I don't know how I ever did. Um, and then we're going to be doing some 
We're going to be doing what's up and coming. Okay, we've got some wax seals we're going to do. Then we're going to do some cabochons. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. Cabochon. Um, cabochon. Something like that. Um, which I do some with wax seals, and then I do some with little pictures. And we're going to make that fun. We may do some clusters or... Um, because my friend Crystal was recommending clusters or something. I think that was clusters she was recommending me to do. Um, but I've I've made some fun things that I may show you uh, along the way. I need to probably do them. There's some little tags and stuff predominantly. So I need to probably do them along with the tag your turn or somebody else is doing a whole bunch of tag stuff. So I need to jump on the bandwagon there. And, um, but anyway, have a great day and thank you for coming along and playing. I hope that you get to craft today. Hugs.